While all opioids bind to the same group of receptors in the brain, not all of them remain in the body for the same amount of time. Some factors that affect this timeline include the opioid's formulation, whether it is short or long-acting, how often the drug is taken, in what form and dose, and its potency. In addition, a person's age, liver and kidney function, and body composition can affect how long opioids stay in the system. Because opioids are fat-soluble, they tend to collect in fatty tissues and are gradually released into the bloodstream, which eventually allows them to enter the brain. This is why opioids can be detected in the body for days after initial use. For the most part, opioids can be detected in saliva and blood for approximately 24 hours, in urine for about two to five days, and in hair follicles for up to 90 days. In this video, we'll dive into the different types of opioids and how long each of them stays in the body. For simplicity, let's group them into two separate categories, long-acting and short-acting opioids. Depending on their classification, this will affect how long they stay in the system. The first category are long-acting opioids. These may include medications such as methadone, oxycontin, butrans, and duragesic transdermal patches. In the second group are short-acting opioids, like Vicodin, codeine, immediate-release morphine, and short-acting forms like fentanyl. First, let's focus on long-acting opioids and how long they tend to linger in the body. Methadone is a long-acting opioid typically prescribed as a medication-assisted treatment for opioid use disorder. It can be detected in saliva or blood for 48 to 72 hours but can be found in urine closer to two weeks and hair follicles as long as 90 days. Oxycontin is an extended release form of oxycodone and can be present in blood for 24 hours, saliva for up to two days, in urine for about four days after use, hair for up to 90 days. Butrans is a transdermal form of buprenorphine, commonly prescribed for long-term treatment of severe pain. Butrans will stay in the urine and blood for six days but its traces remain in the hair follicles considerably longer, up to three months. Now that we've gone over long-acting opioids, let's take a look at some short-acting ones. Just as a recap, these include drugs such as Vicodin, codeine, morphine, and short-acting forms of fentanyl. Vicodin, or hydrocodone, with acetaminophen, can be detected in saliva for 12 to 36 hours after use in urine for up to four days, and similarly to other opioids, it stays in hair follicles for about 90 days. While codeine has a half-life of about three hours, its metabolites stay in the body longer. This means that codeine can be detected in the urine for up to two days. While it will still show up in a saliva test even four days after use, and in hair for up to 90 days. Next, let's look at morphine. Most of this drug is excreted by the body within one day, but traces of it can still remain past the 24-hour mark. For most individuals, morphine will show up in blood for about 12 hours after use, in the urine and saliva for two to four days, and in hair for up to 90 days. Fentanyl can be detected in the blood and urine for up to three days after use. Like many other opioids, it can remain in hair follicles for up to 90 days. Unlike the opioids mentioned previously, heroin has no medically approved uses and can take relatively little time to be exerted. Heroin is detectable in the urine for only one day and in saliva or blood for just a few hours, but it does stay in the hair for up to 90 days. In addition to the types of opioids that we mentioned previously, the timing of opioid excretion is very specific to each person based on their body type, metabolism, age, and how often and for how long they've been using opioids, and in what quantities. Someone with faster metabolism will process and excrete the drugs faster than someone with a slower metabolism. The metabolism of a person also slows down with age, so it is more likely that the drug will remain for longer periods in older individuals. Someone with a healthy liver and kidneys will also eliminate opioids faster. As we mentioned earlier, opioids are fat-soluble, Therefore, they will remain longer in bodies with more fat and will be slowly released over extended periods of time. And lastly, regular intake of opioids in large quantities will leave higher traces than less frequent intakes with smaller amounts. 
Overall, how long opioids stay in the body depends on many different factors that are very specific to each individual.